Boys, welcome back to my Road to 1400 Blitz series, where of course we try to reach 1400 Blitz before we die. Last video, we were popping off, but it just seemed like we couldn't get to where we wanted to be. Well, last night on stream, I had a killer session, and uh, if you'll take a look below, we're sitting at about 1130 ELO right now, and we hit 1136 at our peak. So finally breaking through um, that little elo wall that we were kind of dealing with. And now we're moving forward. We're not looking back. So today we're going to be playing three five-minute games um, per usual. And then, uh, then I'm going to go stream. Guys, if you have never checked out my stream, it's right below. Twitch.tv slash Raymond Bailey. I would really appreciate you dropping a follow and coming to hang out with us. We, you know, we grind elo on stream. We play viewers. Lots of fun stuff, so definitely recommend you check that out. And okay, let's focus up a little bit here. So the last thing I want to do is lose three games today. Um, all right, so let's think. Let's think here. Uh, I'm thinking of this move, just targeting this pawn. If this, then, I mean, maybe we come backwards. So I'm just going to develop. He might play this. I guess not. Oh, let's see here. Let's see here. Maybe this, this, and uh, I can take. I take with the queen. Try to open it up. Maybe come this way. Uh, that's less than I do. That's not really attacking anything, is it? Um, can I just come back? Come back and then push this pawn, maybe? I don't want to take too much time. But guys, I hope that you're doing super well and having a great uh, Thursday. I'm sorry for not uploading yesterday. Had a, an important call with a family member and you know needed to take that and deal with that. Um, so I apologize for not uploading. But I appreciate you guys being here now. Um, okay, so I'm just going to push this pawn. I don't know where else to break through. Um, obviously, if he... Okay, wow, he's coming right after. I'm going to play this. And if takes, takes. I take back, and then, you know, we kind of have an open file. Hopefully this is good for me. I'll probably lose this pawn because it's going to be super weak. Oh, no, I blundered. Okay. Oh, that's good. Well, completely forgot the... Uh, the knight could just take back there. So that's not great. That's not great. Probably should shut up and calculate a little bit more. Because now we're playing from behind. Mm. Yeah, that doesn't feel too good. Doesn't feel too good. Especially when we're down a minute on the clock. Um, so let's go ahead and be annoying. And attack this. He can't defend with this because I can just take this pawn. So it is a tiny bit annoying for him, actually. Okay, he does find a way. So let me come backwards. Not really making much progress. Well, that just, I'm kind of just blocking myself from being able to do anything in this position. Um, I think I'm going to play aggressive. I'm going to play super aggressive, to be honest. I'm going to open up a square for my knight. Um, I guess I kind of have to hope that he doesn't take. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't really know what he's going after here. I guess this square. But again, I mean, I need... Well, I just have nothing, actually, in this position. It's quite bad for me. This position is kind of horrible for me, to be honest. He's going to play this. He's looking to attack this. Um, just have this lodged in here, and I can't do anything about it, to be honest with you. Um, so a bit of a rough start here. Bit of a rough start. Not overly surprising. And I just can't play that move because I'm going to try to dislodge it. I think that's fine. I think that's fine, to be honest. That rook wasn't doing anything, and that knight kind of ruining my whole game. Um, okay, we might be cooked. We might be cooked. Was he going to play this? 
Okay, it's fine. Hmm. Is there a way I can win? Let's say this here. He can hit me with checks. Which, I'm, again, I'm fine with that. Um, let's see here. I'm going to play this move, preventing this check. Coming in the future. And maybe, you know, starting to eyeball some of these more important squares for him. Again, I have nothing here. Truthfully, with best play, I am completely lost, which, you know, is going to happen. But we got to keep a positive mindset, you know? I'm going to take the free pawn. Take the free pawn. Maybe even just lock this bishop kind of inside my little space here. Hmm. It's not, it's not so simple for me. He's only plus four. I mean, he has to he has to do well to convert this game. Um, honestly, though, if like there's a situation ever where I can get my knight here and threaten mate without him like noticing or something like that, okay, it's fine. There's no mate right now for him. This is protected. He could add another attacker to it, but to be honest, I might just start eating more pawns. Okay. Again, he can play this, but I just go backwards. Could offer him a draw. There's nothing drawn about this position, but maybe he'll take it. Okay, he declined. <laughs> Shockingly. Um, I just take the pawn. He's gonna take it. I mean, he's gonna play this now, which is cool with me. Cool with me if he wants to play that move. He's gonna play this. He has mate coming probably. Is that mate now? Yeah. Okay. This is mate. Well, not quite, apparently, but you get the point. Unfortunately for me, he doesn't know how to checkmate, so uh, he's mainly just going to sit here and waste a bunch of my time trying to figure out how to checkmate me. While taking every piece I have. So, hopefully he blunders back rank or something cool. Um, okay. He's gonna come here. Okay. Sooner or later, he'll actually be smart enough to bring the other rook. I suppose we have not reached that point yet. Sooner or later, surely he will bring the rook. I just know it. I just know he. I just know he's gonna figure it out. He could play this. I mean, and we trade everything. I. I don't even think I can get to this pawn. Okay, great. Now we go next. <laughs> Finally, holy. That took a long time. Um, but nice win to my opponent. Play here and here. Probably should have uh, locked in a little bit before this game. Like uh, normally, I've been doing puzzles, but. Not in the last day and a half. Just kind of been grinding it out. Um, yeah, feeling a, feeling a little bit exhausted right now. Feeling a little bit exhausted. But uh, other than that, we're doing A-OK. -okay. Let's bring the bishop out. Does this just trap my bishop? Like, bro, really? I just get my bishop trapped instantly? Do I really have to take here? Oh my fucking god. So we're just gonna fucking sit here and lose games in this faction, I guess. That is just so annoying, to be honest. Like, 
I need to, to wake up a little bit, make sure we're not blundering that kind of stuff away. Because, uh, that's not good. It's not good for me to blunder that. Uh, okay, let's go after these pawns, which aren't really hanging, given... Like, this is a, this is an absolute ass opening from him, too. Like he's just, he's gonna play this, he thinks I'm gonna blunder my queen. I'll practically guarantee that he plays that move. Probably should just play check. Shocker. He's kind of doing the most with these pawns right now. If I play this, is he just going to ram in? I need him not to do this. I'm going to take a risk. I need him not to play this move, because if not, I can win a pawn. He'll probably just play this, though. Somehow we're losing on time. I feel like I'm playing very quickly, but somehow I'm losing on time. Um... Yep. Okay. So this is pawn is now hanging though. This is threatened. We have a threat here. This is open. Okay. If here takes check. I guess he blocks it. Hmm. Trying to find, figure out if there's a way for me to make some sort of improvement here. Okay. I'm going to try to ram this pawn, get my other rook in. I have this move. Threatening to go the other way, I guess. This also allows me to hit this pawn too, though. He just, he really only needs to move this bishop, and I have nothing here. Uh, if he doesn't move the bishop, then we're probably doing okay. He's only plus one now on material. I'm trying to get my brain locked in just a touch. I still have plenty of time. If we can, if we could even get to a drawn position here, I'd be very happy with that. Um, so we have escape squares. We're threatening this. After here, here, takes. What is he going to play? I guess something like this. Like bringing the bishop out, offering a trade. And he's definitely better in that position, but... I'm hoping that he'll blunder something silly. I mean, his position... My queen is just sitting right in his throat right now. And he does have to be careful. He does have to be careful. Wow. I guess, too, after this move, I'm hitting both of these now. I'd be hitting both of these with the queen. Okay, and this move we wanted anyway. See if he takes. We're winning now on time by about 30 seconds. Again, both rooks are now hit. Oh, very nice skewer here. And he blundered a rook. Has to come forward. I guess he can play this move. Yeah, he resigned. <laughs> All right. So that goes to show, guys. Never give up. A little nice comeback win there. We're now uh, plus one ELO on the video. So very, very happy with that. Uh, I played a very poor opening, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Let's jump into one more. Um, and uh, hopefully win one, uh, our last game. And we'll call it a day. I mean, you got to be happy with the situation where you walk away from... A short session with a win, a loss, and whatever we end up with here. You know, if I win two, I mean, excuse me, if I lose two, I'm, I'm okay with that too. Because that does happen. I can't just expect to win all my videos or something like that. That would be, that would be, uh, wouldn't make much sense. Okay. Probably should just develop instead of trying to find some obscure move right now. I want to just get my king to safety. However, I probably should stop castling into this fork. I should probably stop doing that. If this, this, here, takes, take. We'll see, if I play this, if I play this and he takes, then I take, and he can't take back because it's hanging. I don't know if that's a blunder or not. 
I mean, obviously, he can't take the pawn right now. I suppose he can take it after. If I, what if I take this? If I take this, he takes, and I take? Do I come up? Yeah, I mean, he has to take, if he, if he takes this, I take this, and after takes, takes. We should be even. We should be even on material. Um, you know, pretty happy with that, I'd say. Okay. Um, I think that that overall is probably better for me. I feel like my position was a bit congested. I definitely need to be working on my openings. They're, they're not the best. They're not the best. Okay, let's do that. I guess he can take this pawn now, but I can take this pawn. If he wants to keep ra attempting to ravage my position. I suppose he could play this move, but that just loses it. Okay, he wants a pawn. Do I have a better move than just backing out? I don't see. He, he might play this now. Very weird game. Very weird game. Uh, this is about as unprincipled as chess can be. Not surprising at this level, I'd say. Okay, he made a move. And that's not a knock on my opponent. I play like shit, too. You know, this is just, this is just the way it is. I guess after this and takes, takes, I can push out my pawn. And they're both on dark squares. I actually don't mind that. I suppose this pawn will be weak. Like, takes, takes, here... He plays this, I play, I can't defend it actually. I wouldn't be able to defend it. He can target this pawn, but I guess I just pushed. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, I miscalculated. Uh, maybe here, and the moment this pawn ever moves, we have an attack. Do we have a better square? I guess, yeah, I mean, that looks fine to me. And this move, and my structure is really good. Actually, all my pawns are going to be on dark squares, um, which allows a lot of freedom for his light square bishop, but overall it doesn't hit anything, really. I mean, everything is on dark squares. So he has lots of wiggle room here, but can't really attack anything. I don't actually know if that's better for me or not. This is a fork. Let's see if he blunders a fork. That would be very good for us. See if he blunders a fort. Fingers crossed. I mean, hard to recover from a fork of... Uh, I guess it's not... Yeah, it is a fork. But he does capture back, and you know, I just feel like I'm probably going to win that pawn. Maybe I come a pawn up uh, in a situation like that. Okay, he does block the fork. Hmm... guess I can just... Play this and then bishop here. I'm trying to just take some squares away from him in the position. If I play this, does he just play this? Probably. I think I'm going to try to trade this off. I think I'm going to try to trade this bishop off. Because after takes, this knight will be hanging. Um, I suppose that could be easy to miss. Is he trying to like wiggle out of the position right now? He can come here. He just blundered. He can't even take back because it's hanging. I just don't think that he realized that this that knight is hanging. Um, unless I'm missing something big here, which always a possibility. Uh, but I think we just I think we're just winning now. I think we're just winning after that tactic. If you even want to call that a tactic, I guess. I guess it kind of is. Um, okay, he didn't take back. But now we just cram the knight in this position. I mean, that looks uncomfortable for him. That just looks very uncomfortable. I 
I could even try to play something like this. Hmm. Okay, he's going after my rook. I'm gonna bring the rook backwards. Maybe move this forward to protect these squares. Yeah, probably probably king forward to protect this square. Okay, he's going after. If this, what's he hitting? So he has this, this. Both of those are covered. This covered, this is covered. But if I come here, what does he have checks? I don't think so. Okay, we should be fine. We should be fine. Again, if he plays this move, probably gonna play this. If he plays this move, I'm gonna take it. Because after here, takes, takes, he loses on the spot. Okay, if he wants to take this, I'm gonna let him. If he wants to take this bishop, I'm fine with that. I'm completely winning here. I'm totally cool with him taking this bishop. Now, the odds of him doing that seem low. Okay, that's to be expected, I guess. Gonna come for here. Protected by the knight. And he's just kind of moving around all over the place. He has no idea what to do. I'm just going to take. And... I think now we just double our rooks. Maybe he's going to play something like this. Yeah. Okay. Now we're just going to win pawns. I don't know how he's going to manage to do anything about this. If he doubles here and I take and he starts trying to play checks, I just back out and then I'm threatening mate, so. I think this guy's cooked. I think this guy's completely cooked. He might just resign, to be honest. Okay. Obviously not going to take. And he can't... He can't take this pawn because it's made him one. If he does that. To be honest with you, if Tig's here. See if he blunders. That was a bad move by me. He could actually have won a piece there. Um, which was not super, super good. Okay, he's trying to just work some angles here. Um, he's dead lost, though. Dead lost, and just wasting time to be honest. Um, coming around, that's fine. He can continue to play checks if he'd like to. Okay. All right, easy dubs, easy dubs, guys. Okay, so we're at, we're at eleven thirty nine, which is now our peak rating. Um, so we've come a long way, over a hundred hundred elo points, I think, since the beginning of the series, or very close to that. Uh, so I think we're making good progress. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you check out the Twitch. I'm probably live once you see this video. So come to the Twitch. Come hang out with us. Come say hi. Say, tell me you're from the YouTube. I will see you tomorrow, guys. Love you. Bye. Mwah.